On Monday, we brought you details on the announcement of a smartwatch that really has us excited, the Wove Band by Polyera. I brought you a lot of information as to how this particular device is put together, but today I can finally show you the actual device. It's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is your first look at the Wove Band by Polyera. And here it is, the Wove Band by Polyera. Now you can go ahead and see all of the action that this particular watch is showing us in this video, but I do have to reiterate from Monday's video that this is such a pre-production unit that this is very pre-alpha even, and right now the stage is currently at 0.1 phase. That means that right now Polyera is just looking for people to be able uh, to create, some artists to create compositions on here, and developers to create the experiences that will eventually make it onto to the wrist of those who buy the Wove Band. Now, there's also no info on uh, availability or pricing at the moment uh, because we are still very much a long ways from this becoming a consumer product, but it will get there sometime in 2016. Now, getting into the actual specs themselves, this is called the Wove OS that you're seeing here, and right now it's just a demo unit, so it's just going to be cycling across a number of different compositions, everything from landscape ones to portrait orientation ones to even pictures that is basically making this bangle or band rather uh, a kind of customizable and very fashionable type of device. The Wolvo OS is based on Android 5.1 though so you're looking at an actual Android iteration on the back end here. Now the display resolution is actually 1040 by 200. That's of course obviously 200 wide and 1040 on the long way. So you'll be wrapping this whole display around your wrist and it is a e-paper display that is going to be of a grayscale color. So if you've ever had any e-ink or e-paper devices in the past, you kind of know what to expect here. But it is a full touchscreen display which will allow you to navigate across various portions of the Wove OS and the customizable compositions uh, will be made of available with a companion app that will be compatible with Android and iOS. So you will be able to customize the experience to your liking, but it is still a touchscreen display so you can manipulate the operating system. Now, like I said before, this particular watch is not one that I can show on a wrist because that is an experience that Polyera is hoping to keep as personal as possible for each and every user that does get the Wolf Band. Now, as far as development goes, the SDKs will be made available for those who are versed in Java, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript for Android, and uh, uh, there will also be a graphics tool that will allow people to cr help uh, create very unique types of compositions on here. And finally, uh, the processor underneath is a one gigahertz Cortex A7. Now, as you might be able to see in a couple of the compositions that are cycling on the Wolf Band right now, what's great about having a display of this size is that you can kind of prioritize the information on your wrist. For example, if you happen to have a text message come in, you can get a little ticker on the top of your wrist where everyone will most likely be able to see it, and it will tell you that you did just get a text message, but then flip your wrist down, and on the bottom of your wrist where that display is, you will be able to see the actual text in landscape. Not only does this provide a certain sense of privacy, but because you're able to show the information in landscape, you could feasibly see an entire block of text rather than have to scroll through it the way that current smartwatches with their touch screens require you to. Now, though the display rests on a number of slats that eventually snake together to create the round band, at the top there, you're going to notice that there is a small solid area. Now, this is mostly for the bits and pieces uh, that Polyera is unable to make into their digital fabric technology, and you probably guessed it, it's the battery. But it is also where storage is going to be put, and that's four gigabytes of storage with half a gigabyte of RAM, and the battery, uh, which it mostly comprises of, is a 230 milliamp hour unit. Uh, now, considering that this is an e-paper display, it should go for quite a while, and they're even hoping that the uh, Wolf Band will be able to be used in landscape mode, sitting on a desk, especially when it is fully rolled out, as you can put a lot of information on there that becomes just a fixture on your actual desk. And so there you have it for your first real look at the Wove Band. Once again, wove.com is the place to go if you are a developer, an artist, or anyone that just really wants to create the compositions that will eventually make it onto the Wove OS. And you can head over to wove.com where they have a great presentation of exactly what this particular device is. Uh, and you can stay tuned to Android Authority 
for all the best coverage of the Wolf Band as they become available in the coming months. Stay tuned to Android Authority for even more and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And then head on over to AndroidAuthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.